Cubie Estas Violando? Me logis, Tia G. Cubie Conus, la Sose Yoin? Me Conus, la Sose Yoin de la Muelo, Calle de la Rivero. What you're watching right now is a horror film from 1966 starring a pre-Star Trek William Shatner. It's called Incubus, and it's most notable for being one of the first few movies to use Esperanto as its primary language. Esperanto is a constructed language developed by Ludwig L. Zamenhof in the 1880s. Zamenhof believed that if cultures could communicate easily, they would get along, essentially achieving peace through understanding. In 1887, the first Esperanto book was published titled The International Tongue by Dr. Esperanto, a pseudonym used by Zamenhof. Esperantists would later adopt this name as the official name of the language. Esperanto did get some traction, but it struggled to gain popularity. Things got worse in the years leading up to the Second World War, as Esperanto organizations were banned in both Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union. But despite these efforts, Esperanto survived and grew in the 20th century. Today, it's estimated that the language has 2 million speakers in 120 countries. There are even native speakers who are taught the language since birth, and recently an Esperanto course was developed on Duolingo, an online language platform. At the time of this recording, there are 542,000 active learners. One of the main reasons for Esperanto's resilience is its passionate community and how easy it can be learned when compared to other languages. For example, English can require up to 360 hours of study to become fluent, whereas Esperanto can be studied in half that, around 150 hours. This is because Esperanto uses a basic and flexible grammar system which can be learned very quickly. Words that end in O are nouns, words ending with a J are plural, and words ending with an A are adjectives such as kato, katoi, and granda kato. To symbolize present tense, you would use the word as. For past tense, you would use is. And for future tense, you would use os. And here's the cool part. Just knowing these rules allows you to more or less understand this sentence. Vi learnes Esperanto, or you learned Esperanto. Granted, this is just a simple summary, but as you can see, Esperanto is pretty easy to learn. But do we really need an international language like Esperanto? Well, Technically and sadly, no. Thanks to the British Empire and the United States of America's dominance of the world economy, nearly all aspects of modern business and industry use English in some way. In a sense, English is the international language, and thus ironically, a lingua franca. With the widespread use of the internet and global media, we can also see that there is more to establishing peace than simply having a common language. People are very diverse, and the use of one common language isn't going to solve all their problems. However, Esperanto doesn't have to be practical for it to be worthwhile. In my humble opinion, Esperanto is fun, easy to learn, and there's an amazing community of Esperantists all over the world. I strongly recommend you give it a shot, even though there's a very slim chance it'll become practical anytime soon. Hey guys, if you'd like to learn some Esperanto, you can do so on Duolingo. I also have a weekly Esperanto blog if you want to give that a read. There are links in the description below. Also, a few of my previous videos have Esperanto subtitles, Por Mia Esperanto Mikoi, so give those a watch if you'd like to. There are links on screen now. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on this video. I really do appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.